Hello everyone, welcome to Theme Park Life and our first Theme Park vlog from Florida in our 2024 trip. Oh, hello. We are at Universal Orlando Resort, aka Universal Orlando Resort, and uh, yeah, we are going to Islands of Adventure today. So let's head inside and have an awesome day. Wow. Velocicoaster going around, that is absolutely sick. Beautiful. And one of my favorite coaster outlines in the world. Look at that, the giant loop and giant cobra roll. Okay, so our first ride was the Incredible Hulk coaster. Advertised 15 minute queue, we waited about five to be honest. We do wonder with this park or universal parks in general, like do they at the start of the day when people are getting into the park and they're around guest services, they're around the areas where they sell the express passes. Do they inflate the queue times so that people buy passes? I know it makes you think, but our ride was incredible. It's so intense, such an intense ride, uh, especially in this heat as well. Claire, did you like that? I'm not the biggest fan of that. It's a bit rough and it's so intense. It is a little bit rough, yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. So I think we're going to go on the amazing adventures of Spider-Man now. So we've just done the amazing adventures of Spider-Man. It was absolutely excellent. One of my favourite dark rides. Extremely cool indeed. Yeah, great special effects. Love that it features quite obscure characters like Scream and Hydro Man, the former of which is coming to Marvel Snap next month in October. The latter of which is not in Marvel Snap yet. So, are you hungry, Claire? Yeah, somewhat. I can. I can. Oh, yes, definitely go in the store. Yeah, I can smell the. Yeah, I can smell pretzels too. I want pretzels. I want to eat pretzels. Oh, they've got the cat. Look, they've got the chasm statue out there. We saw that in the Spider-Man shop a minute ago, and I love chasm. He's a he's a brilliant guy. It's actually Ben Riley for anyone who is familiar with the name Ben Riley. But yeah, he's got a new guise at the moment. Wow, look at that piece of artwork. Oh, I love that. That's sick. Wow, this is so cool. So we've come into the diner because I've never seen the artwork and in, in, never been in here and thus never seen the artwork. But they've got incredible pieces up here, like Ultron over there. That is Quicksilver and Falcon, but upside down that is Atlas. Or, yeah, I think it's Atlas, because they got some of the Thunderbolts here. Grim Reaper, Wonder Man, uh, Titania Absorbing Man, Baron Z, obviously the Masters of Evil. I think that's, I think that's Goliath. Black Knight. Radioactive Man. Claire is laughing at me because she thinks I've got a bubble in my brain. Right, we are now leaving Marvel Superhero Island and we are... Right, we are now leaving Marvel Superhero... What? For God's what? Sake. what? We are now leaving... Oh, the name off. Uh, yeah, we're now leaving Marvel Superhero Island and we are moving... <laughs> what? Stop. We're now leaving Marvel Superhero Island and we're going to go into the different areas of the park. So this area here is called Toon Lagoon. And it's got a few very wet water rides. It's extremely well themed. But I would have to say that, I don't know, I just think the properties are very dated by now, aren't they? I'm gonna go to the loo. Oh, you're going to the loo? <laughs> well, that was a good update. Yeah, I think the properties are a little bit dated. It's incredibly well themed, don't get me wrong, but yeah. I don't know, just if, to me it feels like a bit of a dead zone. I mean, we're not doing those incredibly, insanely wet water rides. Yeah, we've only done this ride once. There's only one good thing about that ride, and that's the Kong animatronic at the end. Yeah, so... That's it. 
yeah, basically. And like, the queue line. Yeah, queue line's really good. Basically, the ride type is you sit on a, a really long vehicle and it basically drives into scenes with like panora panoramic screens. And in some of the in some of the effects and stuff, it does a good job of selling the effect that you're moving along faster than you are and that sort of stuff. But basically, it, the, the effect isn't good because the panoramic screen, especially if you're sitting at the side, the panoramic screen doesn't stretch like very high. So you can see the ceiling and stuff and just it doesn't feel real. And also it's not particularly comfortable because you're just in this, you're just in this vehicle that's moving around so much. You're not really, you're not restrained. So just banging into a thing like it's not enjoyable. Um, but then the Kong animatronic is absolutely immense. So yeah, definitely worth a ride for the Kong animatronic. But yeah, and basically, I don't know how I'd fix it. Like it's not, it's not, yeah, it's just a mistake of a ride really. I'd do a different, the concept is cool, but I'd do it as a different ride type. Do it as an Omni Mover or something like that. I don't know, yeah. I think we're gonna head for the Jurassic Park River Adventure now. Oh no, maybe not, it's closed. Probably Velocicoaster then. Hold on to your ticket and look for key markers. You're ready to ride. Okay, we just got off of a second from back row ride on Velocicoaster. Very good, very fast. Yeah, fun. yeah, very fast, very fun. The uh, ejector airtime was nuts on that that time. We, we've only done it once. I think we're mid, mid, well, mid to front of train. And it was like first thing in the morning. Yeah, it was first thing in the morning, so trains would have been colder and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that was that was running like absolute speed today so yeah really good Cra like cannot emphasize a crazy crazy ejector yeah really good so yeah stay hydrated in the parks guys that's a good tip for you free water fountains are available we're now going to head into the wizarding world of harry potter based on a property created by famed transphobic <laughs> jk rowling so uh, yeah big shame big shame but you know, her creations, hopefully we can still enjoy them without thinking about the reprehensible vermin that she is. So yeah, I think we're gonna get a butter beer as well because I'm reasonably parched, despite my tip to stay hydrated. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. You just literally had some water. Well, yeah, but I still want, I, I just want a butter beer. Playing up in the camera room. I just want a butter beer, all right? <laughs> I believe this area is called the Lost Continent. There's basically nothing in here apart from food at the moment. There is rumours. Oh yeah, we're going there. There is long gestating rumours that this area could be trans transformed, rethemed, I should say, rethemed into the Legend of Zelda, which would be amazing. You also would think, yeah, it wouldn't be that difficult to retheme that to this. Like that seems like that would work. Right, oh, let's go now. I remember no. this was a good, good no, shot. Last time. Right. It smells spooky in here. It smells of theme park scariness. Lots of Halloween Horror Night stuff in here. Ooh, that is sick. What is that thing? Ooh, that's so cool. Time to get a bloody butter beer inside me, and a frozen one at that. Here we go. Nuff, like, nothing hits. Nothing hits like the first butter beer of the trip. Nothing hits. Okay, we're now going to go on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Yeah, my belly is very cold now because I've had a delicious iced butter beer beverage. It was very lovely. I would actually go as far as to say, 
my favourite drink in the world. It's my favourite, no. It's my favourite drink in the world. Frozen butter bear, favourite drink in the world, fact. I know you wouldn't have liked to have seen the train pull into the station, so that's why I only started recording when it arrived. But yeah, we're about to get on the train to Universal Studios. So we're now in Universal Studios. We have made the gate top as you sure, as you sure, sure thing. Uh, <laughs> ridiculous human being, but yeah, good to be fair. Um, yeah, it is very hot right now. It's to, uh, I think it's 32, feels like 37. Is that what it said? There is a Starbucks in here, that's it. Right? Ooh, Starbucks. Now that I could go for.
Right, we're going into the tribute store now. Like set up to be like a ghost train type of thing. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. It's like a themed store. So I think this one is themed to like imagine the Walking Dead, like abandoned. Yeah, oh, okay. Like nice. Town and oh, yeah, that's cool. Sounds like the Walking Dead. Best number. What? There's Ghostbusters macaron. Themed checkout. That's cool. Wow, like a demon up there. Bloody mental, mate. Nice, and then the exit. We are now going to go on Villain Con Minion Blast. First time on it, it's a new attraction. Okay, we are now leaving the park. We have got some merchandise goodies. I bought a hoodie, so I'll show you that later. Oh, nah, kidding, I'll definitely forget. Um, yeah, and now we're heading out to, I think, look in the other store and also get to dinner at Big Fire. They're cheesy, are they? Nice. Quite, quite, yeah. Garlic. Yeah, cheesy pumpkin. Garlic parmesan, probably. Okay, we had a lovely, lovely meal at Big Fire there. That was awesome. We are now working our way through the crowds in City Walk. It's a Halloween Horror Nights night tonight. So I think there's a lot of people coming in for that. But we are leaving. We are going to Target. So there we have it, guys. We have just returned home from Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. And we've had a wonderful day. <laughs> we just hit Slurpee. You witnessed us having dinner at Big Fire, which was absolutely delicious. Yeah, then actually we went to Target before getting a Slurpee. So yeah, we had a nice look around in Target. Here's the hoodie that I got. Yes, I've actually remembered to show you. I can't believe it. Mm. And this is an Oreo Coca-Cola Slurpee. Very weird. But nice. It's not, it's not quite the same as the UK soda version, which I did a review of on Frack. Um, it's got a little bit less of the savoury biscuit aftertaste. This is a bit more... A bit more vanilla-y with a hint of chocolate, I'd say, but it is still nice, actually. Mm. Still nice. I probably didn't need a medium, though. What are you laughing at? You honestly drive me up the wall. What? I told you to get a small. <laughs> you I said, did. get a small. <laughs> you did. And you went and got a medium. And I, I, you are not to drink all of that because that is disgusting. Well, Taco Bell's rearing its ugly head. If you catch my drift. So yeah, I'm going to go and deal with Taco Bell actually. Taco Bell part two. So thanks very much for watching this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Join us tomorrow for the next video. Not tomorrow is in your tomorrow because it's probably, you know, I'm not going to upload videos back to back days. Chill out. I'm not made of time. Um, but our next video is an Animal Kingdom vlog. And yeah, similar to this vlog, we'll tack on anything that we do after the park to the video. So I've done, I've done it a bit different. Not actually addressed this. I'm doing it a bit differently to last time. Last time I went to Florida, we did like in betweeny day videos and we tacked on the stuff that we did after the parks to different videos. But this time, 
just to make it easier. The, it's going to be the full day vlog, so it'll be the park and anything that we do afterwards. So, cheers, enjoy yourselves. Yeah, join us for the Animal Kingdom vlog. We'll see you next time. Sorry, Claire, I wasn't filming you at all that time. Bye. Bye.